Hey, what's up everybody, Isaac here with another Conqueror's Blade video, and today I'm going to bring to you something a little different than I've done before. I'm going to do a weapon guide, and this one's going to be on short bows, so let me know if you'd like to see any other weapon guides in the future, but yeah, we'll jump right into this one, and we'll get started off with the skills that I use. What skills do I use? I use the stun shot, I use the steel tipped arrow, the rolling escape, and the angry hornets and I'll talk to you a little bit about each of these skills and why I choose them and the first two I think are a must have for every short bow player if you're playing short bow you should have the stun shot you should have the steel tipped arrow and these two kind of work hand in hand with each other you stun a hero then you hit him with a steel tipped arrow it makes it really hard really easy to land that steel tipped arrow and then you can follow up with some more shots, whether it's going to be just a normal attack or even your ultimate if you have your ultimate up. So, yeah, the stun shot, pretty self-explanatory. You use it to stun heroes and make it easy to hit them again or also to interrupt them attacking you or attacking your friendly heroes. So, then the steel tipped arrow, what does that do? It reduces the defenses of the enemy for 2 seconds by 20%. So it's going to let you do 20% extra damage. And that's you, your teammates, anything, your units, whatever. So, super important. Two seconds doesn't seem very long, but it's an incredibly long time to do uh, some real heavy burst damage. So, one of your most important skills that you got. Super short, cooldown, very spammable. So, definitely want that one. Low in escape. You definitely could argue that you almost need to have this one as a short bow. I haven't always run it. I used to run Bola in place of this one. And in certain situations, I think Bola can be good. For example, if, you have, if you're running like 5 on 5 death matches, you got a really good team that looks out for each other. So you don't have to worry so much about dodging the enemy. If they come in for a CC, your teammates are going to jump in and counter CC them. And the Bola can definitely help add some assistance to your team by knocking down shield heroes and that kind of thing but at the end of the day I still feel like the rolling escape is better the bola has just got too long of a cooldown it can save you just like the rolling escape can save you but the cooldown is just too darn long so yeah that's why I go for the rolling escape instead of bola yeah, I used to like running bola but yeah anyways the last skill that I use is the angry hornets and the reason I love to use that one heavy output damage you gotta be really close you gotta be right in their face to do the full heavy damage otherwise each little individual arrow they spread out too far and you're gonna miss your miss your enemy with most of them so try and get right up in someone's face when you let loose with that one and the reason I love that one so much is you can really make heroes regret diving onto you so someone might think, oh look, there's a squishy short bow. I'm going to go and take them out. But you spam that right in their face, you're going to do some heavy damage. Especially if you can hit them first with a steel tipped arrow. But even just on its own, it's going to do some really good damage. So hit them with the angry hornets, make them regret ever diving on you, and you're good to go. So that's why I like that one so much. There's some people that think that, no, you should take, you know, just a regular poison shot or something different. You know, their argument is over time, like if you do the math within a minute's amount of time, you can do more damage within that given time. But the thing is, you're missing out on the opportunity to save yourself or the opportunity to finish off a hero and get that kill. So that's why I go with Angry Hornets. Really, really good skill to have and you should try it out if you have not yet. So we're going to talk a little bit about strategy while you're playing. So one of the main combos is you hit him with the stun shot, you hit him with the steel tipped arrow, and then if you have your ultimate skill up, you hit him with that, your angry hornets, and you're going to melt heroes like crazy with that. But if you don't have your angry hornets up and ready, the cooldown is still taking too long, you just hit him with some regular normal attacks and you're going to do plenty of damage just fine. So hit him with that stun shot, hit him with the steel tipped arrow, and then follow up with some more shots so that's one thing you want to keep in mind is the steel tipped arrow it is super spammable because of how low of a cooldown that it has but keep in mind you really want to try to set yourself up for follow up shots after hitting them with the steel tipped arrow because that's the biggest benefit of it is it's going to let you do extra damage for two seconds to anything you hit so 
definitely try to set yourself up with it and you know don't be afraid to spam it a little bit because it's got like a five second cooldown or something crazy maybe six seconds so spam it a little bit but try to set yourself up for a follow-up shot you know if you can i actually like to hit them with this steel tipped arrow and then the stun shot because your stun shot is going to do a little bit extra damage but also it's going to stun them and leave them in place so you can continue to do extra damage to them so obviously the easier way to, is to hit them with the stun shot first and then hit them with the steel tipped arrow because they're a nice easy target but either way works you know either different situations you might use different combinations but yeah that's kind of the basic combo and as a short bow your main goal you're there to put out heavy damage you're also there to use your stun shot and keep stunning the enemy help your teammates out help yourself out you know if you're stunning the enemy they either have they're forced to use one of the recovery skills or they're forced to sit there and eat damage one thing that's really important is a short bow that you see many people overlooking short bow it's a close range weapon it's not a sniper weapon the further you go away, the faster your damage falls off. So the closer you are, the more damage you're going to do. So oftentimes you'll see people standing way, way in the back with a short bow, trying to be really, really safe, but you're not doing tons of damage. So try to get as close as you possibly can. Obviously, it's a little bit scary being right up close and personal with a short bow because you are so squishy, but you just got to trust yourself, trust that your ability to hit your shots when you need to. Put a little bit of trust in your teammates to help bail you out. And get up close, do some damage, take out some heroes, take out some squishy units. Another little trick to remember is when you're playing sieges, don't be afraid to jump on your horse if you need to, to get a better angle at the heroes. Oftentimes the heroes will be stuck inside of their units. And you just can't hit them from the ground because you're hitting their units and their units are tanky and they got shields or something like that. So you're not really doing much damage to the unit so you better get up on your horse and shoot the hero. The other thing is find advantageous points. If there's like a cornice on the wall that you can jump up onto and get a little bit in the air you can take that option as well. And obviously when you're on your horse you can't do your skills. But at least that gets you up in the air and gets you the opportunity to hit those heroes, do some damage, you know, try and get some of those hero kills. And obviously jump up on top of Artie, jump on top of walls, whatever gives you the advantage of height and lets you get those angles to take out those heroes. So that's definitely one thing you want to keep in mind. Keep on looking for, the, for those advantageous positions that are really going to let you seek out those heroes and put out some damage. So as a short bow, you should be putting out up amongst the top of the highest damage you know in deathmatch and that kind of thing you can see here I did manage to do that that's not gonna happen every time of course but that's the way it goes as a short bow sometimes you're just gonna get targeted so hard that you might not put out much damage at all because you can't do anything you're constantly getting targeted but at the end of the day that can be good for your team as well it's super annoying for you but it can be good for your team because they're so focused on you that it allows your teammates to yeah, put some damage in, kill the heroes that are trying to focus you so hard, that kind of thing. So, you know, even if they take you out of the game, sometimes you're taking them out of the game too. So, sometimes it's a payoff and it's super annoying getting targeted like that. But it's part of what comes with it. If you're going to play short bow, you just got to be ready to get targeted. One last thing I'd like to cover. If you dodge, this little symbol lights up. And what that's telling you is armor piercing. Piercing damage increased. Effect stacks to three times. And then as soon as you use one of your skills, it uses up one stack. So you can stack it up to three times, you use a skill, and that stack disappears. So you dodge, you dodge again, it gives you two stacks, you dodge again, it gives you three stacks. You use a skill, it uses up one stack, dodge again, gives you back the three. So keep that in mind. If you're dodging, it's going to help you do extra damage, and it's also going to make it so much harder for the enemy to target you. So... There's going to be situations where it's like, I really need to hit that shot so I can't dodge here. But keep that in mind. Take advantage of the dodging. It makes you hard to target and it helps you do a lot more damage. So, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I appreciate your time watching. you got any other suggestions you think I should do another weapon guide, let me know in the comments. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to leave the rest of this siege battle playing in the background. And I hope you have a good one. Assemble!
units! Assemble! Form up! Form up! Get into position! Units! Assemble! Form up! Units! Assemble! Capture the point. Get into position! Form up! Form up! Get into position! Units! Assemble! Form up! Get into position! Assemble! Form up! Get into position! Form up! Units! Assemble! Shields up and charge! 